I'm glad you guys could make it. I swear we never get days like this. Between work, the wife, the kids, we lucky we even have time to get the brush out teeth. <laughs> that is no joke. Mm -hmm. I really could use this more often. Can I use your restroom? Yes, it's the door on the right. Okay, cool, thanks. So Richard, <sighs> how are you and Sophia coping with a new baby? Oh, yeah, what's going on? I haven't seen a little fella. Mm -hmm. I mean, he eats, he poops, he cries. Like, you know, what else is there? The sad part is, I do all the work while Richard hides. I do not hide. I don't what? hide. <laughs> the other day, the baby starts crying because he pooped himself. I find Richard in the closet hiding. Okay, oh. you got me. And it's scary. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, how can something so little poop so much? Mm-hmm. It's, it's beyond me. Okay, <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Richard and Sophia was telling us about the baby. I bet he's just a cute little fellow. <laughs> oh, I bet he is the cutest little monster. Monster. Yeah. I love me some babies, especially when they're so young and cuddly. Mm. I know, they just melt my heart. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I'm getting a cookie. Haven't you had enough already? I was just getting another cookie. Put it down. You're always eating. Don't you know how to control yourself? But babe, I'm hungry. Hungry? You eat 24 seven. I mean, you'd be fine without eating for the next year or two. Bill, you should not be saying that to her. I've got to say something. She won't stop eating. She's your wife. You can't talk to her like that. I've got to put a stop to it somehow. Okay, we're gonna go. Um, Jeremy and I have this thing we have to attend to. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, thanks for having us. Bye. Bill, I think you owe your wife an apology. Why? Can you believe him? I swear, if you ever talk to me like that, that would be the end of us. Baby, you know I would never talk to you like that. Have you even talked to her about why she's eating? There's nothing to talk about. She just eats like a horse. Bill, what are you doing? You're making her cry. Good. She needs to do something other than eat. Oh my gosh. Come on, Richard. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. One day, you're going to realize what a great wife you have. <sighs> Jessica, <sighs> if you ever need a place to stay, you are more than welcome to stay with us. Thank you. me in front of our friends today. It's okay. I'll forgive you. Hey. I'm talking to you. Okay. Whatever. Night.
Hello. Good morning, sir. This is Clark with First National Bank. Okay. How may I help you? I'm calling in regards to your business loan. It says right here that you're trying to get a loan to reconstruct your company. Oh, yeah. I took some major losses last year. I lost millions, and I'm just trying to get the company back on its feet. I totally understand, and we can definitely help you with that. Just one little thing. After going over your file, we won't be able to give you the loan due to the amount of debt that you're in. But there is something that can save you. And what's that? We have your wife's information on file. If you can have her co-sign for you, we'll be willing to reconsider. That's not going to be a problem. Jessica? Jessica! Would you mind if I call you back in a few minutes? I, I think my wife might be downstairs. No problem. Take your time. I wrote this letter three days ago. I knew it wouldn't be outdated because your insults never stop. The fact that you're reading this means I'm already gone. Don't try calling me. My number's already changed. Don't try finding me. I no longer live in the same state. As far as our marriage, my lawyer will mail you the divorce papers. The love that I had for you was stronger than the waves of the ocean. But the way you treated me was not like a wife. You physically hurt me. You destroyed my pride. You destroyed my self-esteem. I cried days on top of days wishing you would change. Wishing you would love me for who I am. But all you did was complain, accuse me, and belittle me. I know I gained a few pounds since we got married. And even though you never stopped to ask why, I will tell you. Between cooking your dinner, cleaning the house, washing your clothes, and running your errands, I have no time for myself much less the gym. I put you before me all the time. I let you talk to me however you wanted to talk to me. I let you hit me, I let you bully me. This is where it needs to stop. You always told me you don't need me. I really hope now that I'm gone, you'll be a better man than you've ever been. This is my departing message to you. Goodbye, Bill. I wish you the best in life. The moral of the story is, a man has no place disrespecting or belittling a woman. No matter how much you love someone, if their relationship becomes physically or mentally abusive, it's time to leave. Your life belongs to you, and however you choose to live it is your decision. Don't let yourself be bullied by anyone. <laughs>